and welcome to another colouring review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 150 set of Holbein Artists coloured pencils. Now these have been seen a couple of times in the Facebook groups but not very often, probably because they are extremely expensive pencils and I don't think people have had the chance um, to see how they perform or see what you're getting for your money before you lay out that expense. So I've got the full set here today to show you all of those things and you can make your mind up on whether you would like them in your collection or not. So the 150 set is the biggest set that they do, but they also come in sets of 12, 24, 36, etc. So you could buy a smaller set and try them out before you uh, lay out a huge cost on the entire set. Now they do come in this um, plastic protective box so there is a lot of protection on these pencils as well as you would imagine and as we open the box you will see that there are a couple of booklets there which I'll show you in a moment and on the underside of the lid they have every single colour named in both English and Japanese with their numbers as well and you can also see that there are a series of dots next to each pencil and that represents which sets they can be found in so for example, if you use a lot of uh, burnt umber perhaps on your skin tones, you will you might run out of that quite quickly and want to replace it. So happily you will see that they are available in the 12 sets. So you won't have to buy larger sets to get those um, more regularly used pencils. Now usually colourists buy open stock, single individual pencils, but unfortunately these pencils aren't available anywhere outside of Japan in open stock. So, what do we get in the box? First of all, these manuals, which are written in Japanese, but no bother because they're really self-explanatory. Here we have exactly the same chart that we've just seen. And then this is a bit more of a comprehensive guide as to uh, what the pencils look like and what you can do with them. So you can see we've got the colour swatches here. We've got how they look on different types of paper. We've got different types of rendering that you can do with them. And there's just a few little illustrations of blends and things like that. So that is the booklets. Now for the pencils. So as you can see, they have this protective sort of shock absorbent plastic layer and that covers each layer, the three in total. So they're really, really well protected as you would want from them coming abroad. And here we go. So here are the first layer of pencils. We've got yellows, oranges, reds, purples, blues, greens. So as you can see when I take one of the pencils out, the barrels are extremely similar to Faber-Castell polychromos. They have this gorgeous glossy coating on them, round barrel. Uh, the barrels also have um, a coated end as well. So for example, if you've got a Prismacolor, you will know that the ends are just open so that if the core splits it could slide out which is not great quality to be honest but these absolutely gorgeous they are the same thickness as polychromos and they feel really really light in the hand as well and as you'll see each one is printed with the whole by name the color name of the pencil and the color number and you'll notice there are a series of little stars this one has got one but they range up to three stars i believe and that is the light fast rating of the pencil so basically if you don't know, that's how long the colour will stay really, really vibrant. So if you hang one of your pictures up in the sunlight, if it's got a high light fast rating, it will um, it will keep those colours really vibrant and bold. So what are these pencils made of? Are they oil or wax? Well, the interesting thing about these pencils is that they're a combination of both. So they have an oil and a wax base, which makes them... To colour with them, honestly, it feels like a softer polychromo, but they're nowhere near as crumbly or as buttery as Prismacolors. So they're softer than polychromos, which is great because I find polychromos, as, as amazing as they are, to be quite hard and difficult to blend and they make my hand ache. Um, and these are just a brilliant uh, go-between for the pencils because they're really, really soft. They blend beautifully, but they're not so soft that they're just going to break or you have to keep sharpening them every five minutes. So it's a brilliant sort of in-between of the polychromos and the Prismacolors. So as you can see here, we've got our greens, our earth tones, uh, some browns, skin tones, um, greys, black, white and some metallics. So I'm just going to speak for a second about the blacks and the whites because you'll notice there are two of each. Now this one is a normal black 
and this one next to it is a lamp black and I'll show you in a moment the colour chart that I've made and how they represent but this the normal black is a, a true dark black and this one is a little bit lighter. Now the whites, we have a normal white and we have a soft white. Now I've been told that the soft white is actually better than the one in the Caran Ash Luminance set which a lot of artists rave about. It is so so soft, it will show up on black papers, normal um, you know coloured papers, it will uh, perform amazingly as a blending um, pencil over the top of your coloured images. And yeah, it's just, it's softer than the normal white. So it, it just comes off really, really easily. It's really buttery, but again, not crumbly. Now these metallics here, I'm not a great fan of metallic colored pencils, but I do like it when there is a range of more than just gold and silver. And as you can see here, we've got a silver and we've also got an antique silver, which is a little bit more grayer. And um, it has that look of, you know, when you buy maybe a teapot from the shop and it's sort of got that burnished look on it. That's how I can describe it. We've also got uh, a bronze, we've got a pale gold and a normal gold, so two different golds, and we've also got a copper. So really nice selection there, and with the two whites and the two different blacks, it's just, um, it just gives that little bit extra that I haven't found in any other coloured pencil sets. So that's one reason, just one reason why you might want them. And now we get to the layer that everybody raves about who sees these pencils, and this is the beautiful set of pastel tones. So as you can see, we've got every single colour from yellow right through to blues. We've got a gorgeous selection of skin tones here, a huge selection. And uh, we've got lavender, jade green, and then we've got six neon pencils. Just to note, the neon pencils are the only pencils in this pack that don't have a light fast rating, but that's fine. So gorgeous i mean what can you say about the range of colors on offer uh, the only bad thing or not bad thing but critical thing i can say about the pencils is that they don't really have meant much in the way of dark browns um this is basically it so um yeah three sort of dark well two dark browns really and then a sepia but yeah they could do with a bit more browns but you know browns are easy to mix so that's not too bad so what else can I say about these pencils? Uh, they sharpen really, really well. They do not break at all, um, in my experience. If you have a T-Gal sharpener, I'm trying to find mine out and I can't find it. Here it is. So if you have one of these sharpeners, if you don't have one, get one. If you do have one, brilliant. <laughs> because they are super, super good at retaining uh, as much coloured pencil as possible because nobody likes to keep sharpening and sharpening and your pencils reducing and reducing and all you can think about is how much money you spent on them uh, so you can just set this to one or two and for example on the one here I'll just take a pencil out and show you it makes a really really sharp point but a very small one so you're not wasting the wood there and that is great for these pencils that cost a lot of money and you know there's been no breakages yet I've sharpened quite a few of them I've used quite I've used all of them to swatch and there's been no breakages so very very strong cores I think they're 3.8 millimeters uh, what else erasability so they, they do erase quite well um, not as well as polychromos but better than prismacolors and how do they look on the swatch I'll show you now so here are they all swatched up and how they look and as you can see gorgeous vivid color and I've not been pressing particularly hard or adding too much pressure and the pigment it just flies off the core it doesn't need any pressure whatsoever they're really soft but not too soft and they have these gorgeous tones and as you can see we've got the two whites you probably can't see on this but here is the soft white and I've kept it away from the edge of the border on purpose so that you could see the difference but it really is a beautiful creamy opaque white and then we've got the two blacks the true black and the lamp black we've got the silver the antique silver uh, the pale gold the gold the or is that the bronze the gold the pale gold and the copper and of course we've got those neons as well so absolutely beautiful pigments there with no effort whatsoever and here is a page that I have coloured exclusively with the Holbein pencils. So obviously there's a white pen in there as well for the details, but everything else is Holbein. So as you can see, beautiful blends. Um, 
with that with them being on the harder side rather than me using Prismacolors which is what I use the most and being used to that sort of soft buttery I thought they were going to be really difficult to blend like polychromos but honestly they're not they're just a brilliant um sort of amalgamation of both Prismacolors and polychromos you know so um, as you can see here, they've blended absolutely beautifully. I've blended it out into white. They work really well with colourless blended pencils, like the Prismacolor one, which is what I use on the edges here. And as you can see, I've drawn in a couple of uh, circles and filled them in as gems, just to show you exactly how beautifully they blend. So I used three pencils each on each of these gems. So three tones from dark to light and a black to border them as well and you know they're so seamless you can't you just can't see where one ends and another one begins because that is how well they blend so there you go you can see how beautiful they are now where can you get them from and how much are they so I bought these from an eBay seller called Wabi Sabi Japan Australia hopefully said that right uh, and this is the cheapest place that I could actually find them on the internet that would um, ship to the UK. Well, they ship anywhere, but I'm in the UK, so. Now they cost £256 at the moment for this 150 set, which is a huge layout. I totally, totally agree and understand there. Um, but you can actually buy them for quite a bit more. That's one of the cheapest sellers I found. Um, and also the seller herself, her name is Midori Keller and I've been speaking with her through emails. She's absolutely lovely and so, so helpful because I was really wary about ordering pencils from Japan. Um, and she's just been so helpful every step of the way, sending me the tracking number and, you know, just keeping me up to date with everything. Now, she has asked me to include her contact email in the details of this video so that you can contact her if you have any questions and she can just put your mind at rest and answer any questions you've got. Um, so I'll put her email in the description. And um, another thing to mention, which is really important, is the VAT. Um, it, depending on which country you live in, there are customs charges that usually arise when buying things internationally. And these pencils are no different. So really really important for you to check your um, customs charges and tax charges because you don't want to be faced with any other bill when they arrive in the country so do check that out before you buy them now I think that that is everything that I can tell you about these pencils I've shown you them in use what they look like uh, I've talked about sharpening and erasing and blending uh, so the only thing I would say is that there's not really a lot of browns, but that's not that's not a huge deal, to be honest, because everything else is just spot on. Uh, yeah, so I'll leave the description for you to go and have a look. Leave the link in the description. Uh, you can buy them from eBay, you can buy them from Japan, uh, Japan um, um, Amazon. There's all kinds of places you can buy them from, but as I say, the cheapest and the most reliable place that I've found is the Wabi Sabi Japan Australia shop on eBay. So... I really hope that you've enjoyed looking at these beautiful, beautiful pencils and you'll be seeing a lot more of them on my channel as I colour with them because they're definitely my favourites now. And if you have any questions about anything, you can always leave a comment. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, because that really, really helps me. And yeah, I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.